wearing off on me I've been learning to stop and I've been learning to wait And maybe I lost you we are Well, this morning has been interesting Um, I was supposed to be up at like 6.30 I set my alarm for 6.30 and then I was supposed to go to the gym have some coffee, make some breakfast, do all that, get ready, and then leave by like 9, 9.30. I didn't sleep at all last night. My anxiety was so bad, and I didn't go to sleep until like 3 o'clock, and I guess I turned my alarm off in my sleep. I didn't wake up until 9.30, and I'm just leaving, and it is now 10.09. So this morning's been rough. I'm super mad because I had a really good workout plan, and I was going to go, and... Well, I'm getting gas because I need to fill up my tank, but it's okay. We're, we're going to make it work. We have six hours ahead of us. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see Cash. I can't wait. But this morning has been a struggle already. So this day should be fun. LOL, I thought I was recording the entire freaking time. I literally just talked to you guys for like 10 minutes, and then I noticed it wasn't recording. So I'm currently driving on the highway. Um... So this is my second time driving to his house. Um, I usually fly um, when I go visit Cash just because it's a lot easier and it's a lot cheaper for me because I drive a Jeep so the gas is like ridiculous. Um, but this isn't my first time driving. I drove, the last time I drove by myself, um, or just in general, was three and a half years ago when I first um, went up to his hometown for the first time and met his whole family for the first time. So it's been quite a while since I've driven. But me and Cash, we drive all the time because he drives a lot more because he has a better car than I do um, when it comes to gas. Um, but I have a better car in general. Don't tell me I said that. Um, so yeah, this is, this is it's been a while since I've driven up there, so this should be fun. Um, this hopefully is a lot different than the first time um, I drove up there because when I first drove up there, it was in the middle of winter. And if you guys know anything about upstate, it's freaking cold. Like, like here's cold and then it's like disgustingly cold so the first time I drove up to upstate New York it was in January um, and it was negative 20 degrees I know cold in Jersey but that is so cold so first of all I had to pump my own gas which I'm not happy about because I'm from Jersey we don't do that I mean I know how so it was a good thing I knew how to pump my own gas um, but just getting out in like negative 20 degree weather and doing it it was not fun especially in the middle of the highway where there's like a bunch of truckers and I'm like in my Jeep so it was interesting um but the second thing that was so bad was when I was driving up there I didn't realize that my heat was broken it's negative 20 and I don't have heat in my car so I'm literally driving with like my parka I have a winter hat on my gloves and my boots and I'm driving I remember being so freaking cold the entire time I was miserable I was so freaking miserable. Um, so this should be different this time. It's summer. Um, my heat and air conditioning is working, so we should be good to go. Um, I have my podcasts, so I'm going to listen to that. I pre-downloaded them. Right now I'm listening to, it's called Serial. Um, it's like a murder and mystery case. Um, I love stuff like that. And I have my country music, and I brought some food. I brought lunch, so I don't have to stop for lunch because that's just extra time. Um, and I brought some snacks with chill mix and like some chocolates and stuff just and water so I don't have to stop for those things um, the only reason why I would have to stop is for gas which I will be needing to stop for because my car literally can't drive an hour without having to refill it's horrible so I am currently heading to Philadelphia I'm going through Philly um, so this is Jesus so this is hour one really can't wait for like hour six but I will check back in with you at hour two because I need to get through the city and I'm not gonna vlog in the city because the city is crazy so I will check back in with you when I'm on the highway and there's like a hundred miles that I have to drive so I'll be back so I am at hour two it is currently 11 15 um, so I finally freaking finally got out of the city there was some traffic um, I did stop a couple times but we're out and I'm heading toward Allentown now and yeah, not really that exciting. I'm just driving and driving. I am on this road for 115 miles. Time for 
my podcast. So yeah, I keep looking at like these service plaza signs on the side of the road, um, and I'm waiting to see Tim Hortons. Um, shout out to all my Canadians and anyone from upstate or like upstate PA. You guys know what Tim Hortons is. Oh my god, it is so good. Forget about Starbucks, forget about Dunkin'. I love Tim Hortons and I cannot wait to stop and get a coffee from there. I'm so freaking excited. I love it so much. When it was only a princess tell them you're the queen ruby <laughs> hey everyone it is day two i think it's saturday um so um, oh my god me and cash were so exhausted yesterday i literally had no time to like end the vlog for that day it was insane i was exhausted so i literally passed out and we just like watched tv and stuff um but now we're going up to a cabin today and we're gonna be doing a ton of stuff so I'm gonna take you guys with me in cash it's gonna be so much fun um, so we have our hiking boots on and we're ready to go and it should be a really fun day can I get two <laughs> iced hazelnut lattes one with skim milk one with almond milk we don't have almond milk we just have skim milk then I'll have that mango tea thing then can I get the uh, instead of the one with almond milk can I just get the um, mango wild berry the mango Wild berry iced tea. Sweet, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Thank you. Yee. Finally! They're all frogs? Yeah. Watch your step. Dun, dun, dun. I didn't know frogs were so me. low now. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never heard that before. So pretty.
Can we just sit here? I kind of want to move down here more. Okay? This is pretty. I know, I just want to sit here and listen to the thing. This is gorgeous. There's a stream down there. This is so pretty. We're just walking through the woods right now. Hey, babe! <laughs> I love nature. It's so pretty. Where? Come here, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, hell. Oh, it's going to the hole right there. Okay. Um. Face it, take it. We can't fake the fall. It's not a race at all. It was a wake up call. In those vacant spaces, it wasn't our fault. We were torn apart, and now we can't let go. Of. But it was only us. We've been like literally having so much fun and we were just so tired that like I just passed out again last night. Um, so I'm currently sitting here drinking my freshly brewed coffee. This is my favorite thing about like every day is like, just sitting here and enjoying a cup of coffee in the morning. I don't know why, but it's literally one of my favorite things. And just the smell of freshly brewed coffee and just sitting here and relaxing in the morning. So I'm pretty sure we're going to a barbecue festival today um, near where he lives. So I'm really excited because one of my favorite foods besides Mexican food, that's like my number one favorite food to eat, is barbecue food. So I'm really, really excited to go to this festival and just hang out with Cash and have some fun. Um, I'm not sure if his friends are coming, but it should be a fun day. So I'm really excited to go and I'm going to take you guys with me. So me and Cash are at a barbecue festival right now. We're ordering some food and then we're gonna go get some ribs and just hang out and listen to some music. It's kind of dead here today just because I think it's Sunday and there's not a lot of people here and everyone's at like the lake where we are because um, it is Memorial Day weekend. But we're just hanging out and having a good time and can't wait to eat. Hopefully you can hear me. I just got a wine slushie. It's blackberry and raspberry. It is so good. I'm waiting for Cash to get the rest of the food and then we're gonna dig in. It looks so good. Oh my god. <laughs> We just taste, make sure, do we get spicy? Remember we got that once? Oh, that was disgusting. No, this is fine. It's the only kind there anyways. You ready for your handmade beef? And then two ounces of that, right? One and a half. Oh. You're a lightweight. Whatever. <laughs> Okay. Remember that, that vine? In two shots? I'm not getting dust the whole thing in. <laughs> <laughs> so good. You like My it? favorite. Oh, is this really good? The sweet and lime juice? Just a half ounce of that. Instead of doing an ounce and a half of lime juice, do an ounce of lime good. juice and an ounce and a half of that. Got our drinks. <laughs> No. Alright, don't drop it. Wow, oh it's God, that's so <laughs> soft. Come on. I'm it's the easiest thing to do. I have the hardest part. Come on. 
<laughs> it's still left. Where? Mom's like, what the hell are they doing in my living room? Step on it. All right, one more. Go on. Go. All right, here we go. Water bottle. Okay. And that. And you're gonna have to get the door for you. Oh, okay. Is it coming too? What? Ruby's coming too. Yes, so. Come on, Ruby. There you go. Currently growing up some food for dinner. He's cooking, I'm just watching. Right, Gash? What? Exactly. Such a beautiful day here. We're just outside grilling for Memorial Day weekend and just gonna hang out. Ooh, this looks good. Can I get you anything? No, I'm good, thank you. I'll do it in taste. Really good, the vegetables are good. Hey guys, what's up? I think today is... Hi, Ruby. I think today is Tuesday? Tuesday? Tuesday. Yeah. I don't even remember what day I left off with you guys. Um, we've kind of just been chilling out and just relaxing um, because the weather's been kind of cold and kind of rainy here, so we really haven't done anything. Um... We've been going like little places for about an hour and then just been coming home and relaxing. So really wasn't vlog worthy. Um, so today it's kind of just the same weather. It's super cold. Um, I think we're literally just going to go run errands, um, maybe go to the mall or something. Um, so maybe I'll bring you guys along. I think it'll be a little boring, so maybe not. Um, but we do have a concert coming up um, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Um, it's this huge country festival concert thing that we're going to with the whole family. So I'm really excited. So I'm definitely bringing you guys to that because that'll be so much fun. Um, hopefully the weather is so is good because it's supposed to rain. So yeah, we're just going to hang out today and do some errands. So nothing fun. Hey guys, so I wanted to show you what I've been working on um, while I've been at Cash's. So me and him went to the mall today and we went into anthropology and I love their books and stuff. So I found this really cool book and it was called My Bucket List. And it was like $40, but I really liked it. So I decided to make my own on Microsoft Word. So it first starts out with um, a before page and like talks about um, why you got the book, what you're doing currently in life and stuff like that. Um, and then just talks more about like what you're doing in life, um, as you guys can see. And then it goes into my bucket list. So basically there's a hundred things in this um, that you can write down and obviously check off when you do them. Um, so that's just the list. And then it goes into pages. So there's a before and after page. This is before and you write down what it is um, and then like what the idea, like how it popped into your head, just more about the event and like what you, um, what it entails and stuff like that. I thought it was so cool. Um, what the difficulty is, like all that good stuff. And then how do I make it happen? And then the second page is the after page. So what you do is like the day you completed it, where it was, um, what made you finally do it, blah, 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 like who'd you do it with, the whole story and stuff like that. And then there's a part where you can post a picture of what you did. I thought it was such a cool thing to do um, and it just really gets me motivated to do the things that I wanna do in life. Um, so yeah, I thought that'd be cool to share with you guys and I don't know, maybe inspire you guys to make your own bucket lists. Um, it's really easy, I just did it on Microsoft Word. So. Yeah, I really wanted to share this with you guys. Let me know down in the comments what your bucket list is or some of the things that you want to do in your life. I'd love to hear that. Good morning. Today's the last and final day that I'm here. It is Tuesday? Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh my god, I don't even know what day it is. Um, but me and Cash were going to go out to breakfast this little tiny cafe that's in his town. So I'm really excited because it's one of our favorite places to go eat. And then we're just gonna hang out and then we have the concert later tonight so I'm so excited there's I think Frankie Ballard um, Michael Ray Parmbly 
and like other ones but I forget I'm like drawing a blank but there's a ton of people playing tonight so I'm so excited it's gonna be so much fun um country is my favorite genre of music so I'm really excited we're probably just gonna hang out and just relax because then we're all gonna get ready and go to the concert so today should be another chill day the weather is finally nice um no more rain which is good so hopefully it stays like this so it doesn't rain for the concert so we just got home. Um, I'll show you what I got now because we were back in the car. But the first thing I got from Dick's Sporting Goods was this plain black hat, which I really like. It's from the brand, I think it's Carrie Underwood's brand. I think Calio? Calio Studio? Yeah. Um, I wanted the one that had the Adidas logo on it, but I thought this would go better with just outfits instead since it's just a plain black hat. I love how it fits too. I'm really picky about how hats fit on me because they don't usually look right. Um, and this is such a perfect hat. I love it. So I'm really happy I picked this up um, just for like bad hair days because everyone has them. Um, and then the second thing I got from Dick's Sporting Goods I really like. Um, and it is this, let me see if I can get it. It is this sports bra. It's from the same um, brand, the Carrie Underwood brand. Get it? Jesus. Um, and I, one, got it for the color because I really love the color. I thought it was super unique. And then the back, just the super strappy backing and the thick straps that are in the front. I just thought it was a really nice sports bra. And there is a little bit of padding. Um, it's not, like, cupped, but it does have, like, a little bit of padding on it. So I really love this color. Um, it was between this other one and this, like, cropped shirt. Um, but I decided to go with this instead because I love the color and I don't, it was just a plain crop, the other one, but I don't have this color, so I decided to go with this one. And then from Home Goods, I didn't get too much, A, because I don't I don't have a home. I'm showing them what I got. Uh, YouTube? My viewers. What? Yeah, the cleaning people. <laughs> and then I just got this candle from Home Goods. It's Tobacco Woods. A, I got it for the color of the jar because I thought it was cool. And B, it smells. Doesn't it smell good? Mm -hmm. So, I just picked up candle because I have a candle obsession. Don't I have a candle obsession? You have a lot of obsessions. <laughs> okay. Well, and then I just got this. So. Swing down south, drop top down, hair in the wind, Tom Petty up loud.
just a real low ring of fire. Just my, 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 my. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. So some random people just came up to us and gave us these like um, gold wristbands, which means I get to meet the artist of the entire concert. I'm so excited right now. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. Thursday today. Um, this is the day that I'm going home. I'm currently driving home right now. I'm at a tech stop. Just use the bathroom and stuff. I'm gonna walk around. Um, but this is where I wanted to end the vlog. Um, so last night it was so much freaking fun. The concert was amazing. The, I there was so many great artists there last night. I, it was so much fun. But my favorite part of the entire concert was they each individually played songs throughout the entire night. Um, so they kind of went in like a circle and played three or four rounds of like their their hits that they have um but at the end of the concert they all like sang together and played johnny cash ring of fire it was so freaking good that was probably my favorite part of the entire concert and it was so well worth it i would if i just went for that one song it would have been amazing um and then after uh we were all walking back and we we're gonna leave someone ran up to two of the parents that we were with um they gave them just like meet and greet passes um and one of the moms gave them to me which was so awesome um, so I got to take a picture with all the artists that sang last night. So that was so freaking cool. It sucked because I didn't even get to like look at them or like say hi. Um, it kind of sucked. I wanted to say hi to everyone um, and get like individual pictures, but it was just a group picture with other people. But it was awesome. So that'd be cool. I'm gonna post that on my Instagram soon once it once they post that to their Facebook page. But it was such an amazing night and hanging out with Cash and just enjoying country music with him and the whole family. It was awesome. So. That was a great end to a trip seeing Cash. Now I'm going back. I'll be back there in a couple weeks um, for his little brother's graduation party because um, he's graduating high school. So I'll be back in a couple weeks. But I miss him already. It sucks leaving him. I know, but we'll be together soon again. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end this here. Um, thanks for coming to Upstate New York with me, guys. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did this weekend. Bye, guys.